Julia Hair sent me. Today's video is sponsored and all of the details about the hair will be down below in the description bar. I've been becoming a leave out girly so I wanted to use a U part today and kind of have a little bit more wiggle room with the styling. So I'm starting off with my hair already clean and blow dried and I'm parting it off from ear to ear. I'm going to braid all of the hair behind my ear back. If you haven't yet seen my video on my braiding pattern for when I'm wearing wigs then definitely check that out. I switch a lot between frontals, closures, U parts, V parts and it's just really easy for me to switch my hair up when I braid it this way so definitely go ahead and check that out for a more detailed tutorial. But I couldn't because my hair is kind of thick so I'm going ahead and just crocheting both of those ends through my braid in random places to be honest. I just want it to be really flat in the back. I've accidentally left my braids down and literally had like Cleo braids sticking out under my wig before and that was just unacceptable. So this keeps it a lot more manageable and now we can go ahead and work on the front. I know I want to wear a middle part today so I'm parting my hair right down the center because off bat we know that we need that. And I'm going to go ahead and part out my edges as well just because I want this wig to look like a sew-in pretty much. So having edges out really adds to that natural look and feel. I can kind of tuck it behind my ear and give very, you know, I'm shy but I'm cute vibes. If you know, you know. So I'm not parting out very much of my edges. Maybe just an inch or three quarters of an inch. Nothing too spicy. And once we have that sectioned out, I kind of twisted it out of the way, we can go ahead and prep our wig to install so we can get a feel for how much hair we need to leave out. The wigs always come with this extra lace in the back. I like to trim that off. And then once I have that trimmed off, I'm kind of just placing the wig on my head to get an idea of how much hair to leave out. And once I have a basic idea, I kind of just part some hair out and it's trial and error to be honest. You part the hair, you try the wig on, see if it works, part the hair, try the wig on, see if it works. I'm happy that I didn't edit this part out so you guys can see how much trial and error goes into it. You don't just, you kind of want to play around with it and continue to try it on until you have the perfect amount of hair out because if you don't, then your wig isn't going to lay right. And the last thing you want is a lumpy U part or a lumpy wig in general. That's just not the goal here. There's an extra clip right behind the part that I'm going to go ahead and take out. It just irritates my head. If you like the extra security, go ahead and leave it in. But we're going to do our first rough try on. And it wasn't quite right, so I'm adjusting it a little bit and then we'll try it on one more time. So now that we have the leave out perfect, we can go ahead and braid the front of our hair. I like to do one braid like right behind my edges just because there's a clip or a comb in that area and I want to give it something to hold on to. So pretty much we're adding the anchor braids first and then we'll figure out something to do with the rest of the hair. So I have two anchor braids down my edges for the comb on the sides and now I'm placing two more braids around my part and this is where the combs will sit. You don't want them too tight though because if it's super tight your combs won't be able to go through so if you're not the best braider this is your time to shine. <laughs> the looser the braids low key the better. You want it tight enough to give your wig some grip but not so tight that your hair is going to be like uncomfortable. So I finished all the braids for the top and this is what they look like. I'm going ahead and crocheting the ends through the back just like I did the rest of the braids and it's no rhyme or reason. My hair is just kind of thick so I'm trying to make sure to keep it as flat as possible so I do my best to kind of fill it out. All right, so this is the finished braiding pattern. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the twist on my edges and just flat iron that hair because it'll be a little bit easier now than later. And 
and now it's time to pop the wig on. I'm placing the combs around my part first and then I go ahead and place the combs behind my edges and in the back so that everything is nice and secure. You cannot tell me that this does not look like a bomb sew-in. It's given a fire, super flat sew-in and the hair is so pretty. I love the waves. We're gonna kinda play up the natural waves and how we style the hair, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron my leave out first. Before we get into styling the hair, I'm going to apply a little bit more heat protectant. I'm using the John Frieda Frizzies and just applying that all throughout the hair. And then I also put a little bit of a wax stick on my roots because the flyaways were not given. To style the hair, I'm using my curling wand. This is one that I got off Amazon. It actually came with a few different attachments. So it came with a few different wands in different sizes and it came with the crimping barrel. I love this curling iron. I'll go ahead and put the link down below if you guys are interested in it. I've really been trying to downsize like all of my beauty and hair products. So having a product that I can use in a lot of different ways has been super helpful and it's low key cute. So yeah, I'll link that down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. I got it on Amazon, but I'm going through and I'm just wand curling the hair going all towards the back. I'm going ahead and using a little bit of edge control and super my baby hairs on the side and just polishing up the edges in general. I've been obsessed with swooping my sideburns lately. I'm not going to lie. It looks so cute, especially when you, you know, do the little, like I said, the little I'm shy tuck chef's kiss. So after combing the curls out, this is the final look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. I'm running a little bit more of that edge control over my hair just to make sure everything stays nice and blended. And I hope that you guys like how it turned out. Do you see how flat it is? If anybody asks, it's a sew-in. The hair is gorgeous. I love the length and it blends perfectly. So I hope you guys love today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye babes.